Awesome. So this topic, welcome to the Aspera Lounge, first of all. Uh, what I can you hear you. You can't hear me. You can hear me. I can hear you. Yes, you can hear me, right? You can hear me, can't you? No, I can hear you now. Yeah, that's hey, okay. Hey, Victor. No, yes. That's okay. We're already Victor. live. We're already Victor. live. We're already live. <laughs> yes, okay. sir. We're already live. Yes. Okay. Right, so welcome to the Aspera Lounge. Thank you for joining us on this episode. You can see the title. I know that this topic and this title is not something that people would like to talk about. A lot of people, because they'll be thinking, actually, they'll be taking offense. Like, why would you want to have a conversation like that with a title like this? But I understand it because um, people do not like to deal with reality. For instance, I'll give you an example of a child who maybe has heard different things that imply that. The parent that he's known for all his life may not really be his biological parent. Even though he hears different things, he may not really want to find out the truth. So that even when he thinks he wants to, and he goes and asks the parents questions, as they're about to tell him the truth in his mind, he's like, I don't really, I'm not sure I want to hear the truth. I'm not sure I want to hear the truth. That is the situation with um, religion. A lot of people, even though they see things, do not want to accept what they are seeing. Instead, find a way to create excuses. But this is something that for most Nigerians, let me just talk about Nigerian Christians, the basis of that, of Christianity, is the truth. And so why should we be afraid to have conversations? Anytime somebody is trying to gag somebody to stop a conversation, it's because they don't want something to be covered. And for, it's an irony for something that the basis should be the truth, that people do not want to talk. People don't want to have conversations. Here we are. Some of us cannot live with fabrications. Let us dig in and talk about these things. And good thing we have a pastor here who will stand in for those Christians who are afraid of having conversations around religion. Let's go. I have two beautiful, two, two very intelligent gentlemen with me here. Let's dig into this conversation. Let me let them into the studio. Thank you for being with us. Okay. Thank you for joining in on this conversation. Mr. Victor and Mr. Adishaye. Let's go. Somebody is for religion and somebody is against religion. Let's hear what it sounds like. Can we start with Mr. Victor? What is happening with the audio? Talk. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, okay. um, like I was saying, or like I thought, um when you talk about religion i think it's better to say that religion uh became the outcome of the day in the days when um when we were in the old testament now uh when we talk about religion religion has to, has to do with um, specify we and manner at which things have to be done. Now, uh, of course, we're talking about religion in Christendom. We and manner at which things have to be done. I'm making the use of the rules and regulations guiding our relationship with God. In other words, rules and regulations that guide the way and manner at which we live with God and God will live with us in terms of worshiping him and doing all others that are necessary to be done. Um, the concept of religion got terminated at new birth. What I mean by new birth? When our Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary and died on our behalf, 
the works of religion contaminated at that point. Before Jesus left, so Lord said, it is good that I go. Was discussing with the disciples. Of course, what is said to one is said to all. It is good for you that I go. If I do not go, the comforter will not come. But if I go, the comforter will come. But I pray that I need to tell you now. But I cannot fool them to you because you will not be able to pick them by virtue of your experience and authority and also chronological things that are supposed to take place, but they have not taken place now. So, until when it comes, when it is to get to the point from the time that they will come to play, and when they come to play, the person of the Holy Spirit, which is the Comforter, will come and explain things to you. And one of the significance of that is the fact that in this dispensation that we are now, every Christian, every child of God is supposed to only and only listen to the person of the Holy Spirit. And so the concept of religion got terminated at new birth. And one of the things that new birth um, I, 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 I'm going to use the right word. Self fast, and let me use that word. Self fast for us as Christians, as child of God to be, is living by the teaching of the Holy Spirit. The scripture may not understand, like, uh, the scripture uh, has supported that by, we may not understand, I think in the book of the Romans, I can't remember now, said as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Not as many that are led by the dictates of the Mosaic law, or the dictates of the whole covenant, or the precedent or, 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 or the president that was laid down in the days of either Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, so. So, <laughs> so but, but that's the general religious concept got terminated when Jesus died on the cross. So as shedding of Jesus' blood on the cross of Calvary, it can raise and cancel out all those religiosities. Then, what is expected is today is that the person of the Holy Spirit guides our guides the way we talk, guides the way we reason, guides the way we, we, we worship God as a people. Uh, it was a very convenient element. It's something that others um, beyond my imagination. What do you mean? If we look at where we have over 200 million and with that, we have less than 2 to 4. Less than, oh, oh, let me do it. Let me be factual now. Let's just say something. Let's just say we have like the same percent that are engaging in everything, um, intellectual discourse that are critical thinkers. No thanks to religion. Religion will make you a living for me. Because truth be told, by the time you want to engage somebody on intellectual or whatever, they will not want to do it. Let me, let me give you the formula I want. You will just say, it is well. It says that it is well, just the doctor alone, it tells you to stop doing things. It tells you to stop involving the logical exercise. It tells you to stop analyzing. Right. It tells you to absolutely uh, adjust what you say. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, point for one. You're talking about the nature of my life. Okay. What do we do about this? What can we do to make it better? What can we do to address it for me? Please do. And somebody just tell you, who is Nigeria? It is well. Number one, the person is not going to involve. We're not going to engage you in an intellectual discourse. That's number one. Number two, not only if the person is actually telling you to stop holding that route, don't follow that route. No, 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 no. Let's just stop 
in there, let us pray. And no time to be there. There's a moral thing which must be told. It wasn't like this at the beginning. It was in the Bible that the Bible said at the beginning it was not so. It was not so. I think we are finding it happening again with this of um, history. Because how to the era of Pentecostalism in this country, no thanks to Idaosa, Peter of Idaosa, no thanks to Papa. We any more say there will be riots, there will be protests, there will be right wrongs and criticism of plenty criticism against the government. Because the military government will have told the people. So that makes them all them to do some things, even more than the present government. What am I trying to say? In the, in the era of the society, the first time you know, and the world is in heaven. Don't worry, all the time, not the way you are, you can call your name. Think that you are supposed to call your government to order and demand for your rights from them. They tell you what will provide. And they will not back it up with one holy picture. And you will begin to take it down. They will not go ahead and think that what is good for you. That's the reason. That is the no no. That's the reason. If you're okay, if you're comfortable, if your neighbors are not comfortable, then you're not comfortable. If you're okay, you're the only car, you are the only car in your area, then you, are, you can never be at peace. Let's start with it. If anybody wants to put you there, they will not your case. Please, Dr. Thank you. No matter the time of the night, but look at it very well. saying makes me so what I want to say is so maybe the understanding is the misunderstanding is that maybe the misunderstanding is this what you're talking about is different from Christianity that is religion it is not the practice of Christianity right because the, the real practice of yes the real practice of Christianity yes because I will call the Father in the Lord that no one is this God more than us. So how are you going to separate that? Are you going to call the bishops that we have? Is that the Jews that we have? They are not Christian. That they are what? That they are not Christian. So that's, that's actually where my conversation is heading. That's what I want us to point out. I want us to allow ourselves to, to consider what we are doing. What we are doing if we are really going to practice Christianity, it is going to be by following the lifestyle that Jesus Christ taught us. It is not following religion, because what religion is doing is having a building that is called a church, because I believe now that that is not what Jesus meant when he talked about church. It is not a building where people come and listen to somebody. That's the kind of conversation that I want us, and I know that you know it. I just want to make sure that we head there. I know that I'm not telling you. I know you know it. Because what I want us to understand as Nigerian Christians is that what we are doing, and that is the reason why we are where we are, 
and I know that you both know it. So now that we've laid that premise, let me not divide you for one side or the other. Let's let it just be a free flow so that you can say on both sides what this is doing to us as a nation. Because the reason we're having this conversation, I am really not interested in convincing anybody for their own good. I'm interested in having a nation where I can be at peace. So I'm doing it for selfish reasons because I want peace as a Nigerian. That's why it's important to me. Whatever you're saying now, when you're shaking the whole Am I? So, you're saying we can talk, you, you, want me to come, you want me to come in at this point? I, I think, um, I think, I think there is a... Uh, oh. Your audio, can't hear you. Uh, um, Didn't hear you. The concept of religion, are you hearing me? Yeah. Perfectly, sir. Now, the concept of religion we're talking about, uh, we need to we, we need we, we need to come to a point where we all agree on our definition of terms. Now, when we're talking about religion, uh, Uzo is looking, my, myself and Uzo are looking at religion from the part of traditional practices of religion. That the religion we're talking about. There is a traditional part of religion, and that is not helping us. And that is what we are doing. In today's world, exactly. And that is what a lot of Christians are still doing. But that is not what we are expected to be doing, because the true traditional practice of religion, the way it's being practiced in the old covenants, it's what a lot of Christians are still doing today. And, and as a result of that, it's not even helping us as an individual, it's, it's not helping us as a family, it's not helping us as a society, it's not helping us as a nation. And the such should be done with it. Now, Adina is not looking at that. What Adina is looking at is that when, 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 when you mention religion, and here is looking at the Christian drum as a whole, irrespective of how we practice it. The Christian drum as a whole, if possible, also the Mohammedanism as a religion, what is the impact in today's development? Okay, so, so say your parts, though. Yeah, no, exactly. That's where it's coming from. So the audio. But which of the spots that we're looking at? There are two different things. And when you're when you're saying whatever you're saying, you can def, you can let us know whoever is listening. Let us know what it is that you're talking about. Just say it so that we can we can learn from the conversation. Okay. Now, for what I will say at this point is, um, um, there's no way we can, as a nation, there's no way we can um, overemphasize the place of religion in national development. Honestly, because um, we are social being, and because we are social being, we are. How do I say it now? The way man is man is man is wired or created in such a way uh, to relate with a deity. I repeat that again. The way man is wired, man is wired in such a way that there is a voice in every man that longs for the deity, that longs for the spiritualism. And that's why every man you see today, when I say man, I also mean women inclusive, every man you see today has something that he or she is worshipping. You cannot be a man and be void. In terms of spirituality, there is an hunger, and theologians made us understand that, of course, scripture says man was created from the dust of the heart, and 
Man did not become a living soul until God's breath, which is called Numa. God's breath entered into man, and man became a living soul. A living soul. Every soul. Every now, for every living being, I'm sorry, soul. for every living soul, look at my man. For every living soul you see today, long for your relationship with the day. Even though, even though, that's not that, 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 be, because, because there are many there people, are many people who, who I think a lot of things, things are social, social conditioning, conditioning. A conditioning, conditioning actually. If you're born into something, then it just seems normal, normal to you. Because, because people, people who were not born into that, that feel quite okay, okay not, not thinking, thinking about, about that. that. And, and, and even, even though, though in theology, theology that, that is what is taught, that, that is what is taught. No, 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 Okay, let's let, let, don't worry, let's do that in another day. Let's do that in another day. Okay. No, I will say I will say that. I will say that being a social person in a community like this that you and I find ourselves, we have to relate with the deity that we believe, which is God. And so man must worship God. Man must pray. And man must be man must accept faith for our tomorrow to deliver. Our expectation to deliver. Now, the way we live in the society, we expect better things from our society. We expect that um, our requests, our questions, issues bothering ourselves, bothering our family, bothering the nation, has to be answered. I'm talking about the impact of religion in the development of our society. How religion has helped us today. Now, of course, there have a lot of challenges. Religion has helped us to be able to call on God. Let me come again. Hold on. Maybe, maybe my, maybe, maybe my, maybe, 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 maybe the use of my words. Maybe by the use of my words. Now, let me say, let me rephrase again so that you know, I don't create um, that cut on me. Now, our, our, our relationship with God, our relationship with God has helped us to be able to trust God. It has helped us to be able to believe that God can help us solve our national problem. God can help us to make things happen. Especially when we have expectations that are not met. It gives us room for us to believe and have faith for the actualization or the passing of those things. And by so doing, it confirms, it helps man, it confirms, hold on, hold on, let me just, I'm, I'm running up now. It helps man to be able to stay contented. In other words, I'm expecting something is wrong for me, I'm praying, I'm trusting God. So it makes me to be contented and not to go into either, but maybe this world will be organizing and help, and uh, maybe to go and, um, Break law and peace and so order. what you're saying is that it no, gives no, you no. it gives you some hope deferred that you can hang on to. When it gives me when it gives us hope deferred, what it does on the other side is that if there are so hope deferred, we could have, we can go into hooliganism and go into harm robbery just to make sure that our expedition comes to pass. Okay. Just to make sure that we get this, we can go into serious killing. However. That's not to say that the society is devoid of that today, but it has helped us to streamline. There are people, there are more people who could have gone into all those negativity and passes of life and clean of um, uh, human beings and whatever. But, 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 but what could say? But what could say? No, but what could actually say? The living God. So but can't one say that? The fact that I've watched. Maybe, Maybe my, my mother, mother or my father or my, father or my auntie, auntie for 30, 30 years, years hoping and, and nothing has changed. Doesn't, doesn't that now convince me that what some what he's doing or what she's doing does not yield results? So for that very reason, for that very reason, isn't that why we now have we now have people who feel I cannot hope because that hope is not going to instead let me go and do some yahoo yahoo or ritual killing or something. Yeah, you know, let me tell you what happened. It's not, it's not really business to us, sir. Um, very perfect example you quoted. It's not that things nothing really happened. 
It's just that our expectation, the way we expect it, is not well, it's not really declared at any time. But yet, yeah, they were not where they used to be. I don't know if you understand me. Sorry, somebody is calling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Yes, what I'm trying to say is that no matter the no matter what we are talking about today, no matter the the challenges, no matter the discourse, there is something that is jamming and that that we must take on is that uh, when in any situation there's always a lesson to learn or a lesson to be learned to be learned rather so as learning let's look at it from 1990 to this uh, the age and time there's nothing like happening now now that has not happened. Or there's no social fighting that, that are happening now and that we are doing now that has not been in this country in the past. So your point is? In coming, is it teaching an exam? Is it fraud? Is it armed robbery? Is it, um, is it uh, let me Name anything that you want to name. It has always been with us. But since 1990, in this time, something has shifted. We have a proliferation of more Turkey and more. Am I right or wrong? Yes, you are right. All right. Now, beautiful. What do you think is responsible for that? What do you think is? Yes. Are, are you? You're not trying to say that religion is responsible for that, are you? Are you? I'm just old. 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 I'm for the proliferation of Turkey and Mark, mm -hmm. a number of that is used, yeah. among Jews, and Baal, that evangelist, revivalist, crusade, and then even in Islamic world, it is not, it is not any Actually, I'll, I will I will rush you to the end. I don't know if that's what you're trying to say, but I believe I, I actually do so believe. What I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Yeah. Something is fundamentally wrong. I will tell you that part of it is that religion. Religion, I, I will just say that it quickly. That part of it is religion. 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 You you are repeating the thing now without okay. Let me let me take it home. Let me take it home for from my own understanding. The reason I will say part of it is a big chunk of it is religion is because what we are doing is not practicing Christianity. It is religion, and the, and this is why it is not transformational, because it's just a a, a ritual that people are doing that is being understood and is being taught it looks to me from my observation you know that i mean sometimes somebody older can be doing something wrong and and the younger person i take correction from my children from time to time the younger person can say what you are doing is is not right you have to say it otherwise you'll be led into the pit and that's why i say that religion is a big chunk of our problem 
because people are spending time with people who they think are teaching them what to do right instead of practicing christianity we are doing religiosity so that there is no transformation on the inside because if we talk about christianity and the kingdom of god there are things that you know as as people call themselves the child of a king as a child of a king it's it will reflect in the in the things that you allow the next person to do to you do you understand where i'm going so that's why to understand christianity uh, is very important that we stop looking at what somebody who doesn't know is teaching that is why we will be stuck in a place of rot that's the that's what that's what i would I don't know if that's where you were going, but that is what you reminded me of when you said what you said. So I want to shout from the billboards that religion is part of our problem because we are all focused on the wrong thing, which is not taking us where we are supposed to be. And Nigeria will remain the way it is as long as we continue like this. So should are you for religion or are you against it? When somebody hears, we need to understand what it is that we are talking about. I don't know what's happened to Victor. Okay. All right. Um, maybe it's okay. Right. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. Yes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done making my points. I just said something. I just said something is not online. Hmm. They can't be having to every tree that you have a touch. Yeah. That is okay. Not not a, not a touch. Not a touch to a tree, so. I know. No, not at all. I know. I know. You are talking about three or four. I know. One touch is from one skin. And yeah. even at that, our behavioral pattern is towards negativity. Perfectly. And then, now, prior to that era that I mentioned, things were all right. And we do not have the, we do not have the proliferation of touching. And people still have uh, the fear of God. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so what we're doing is, is distracting from the fear of God. It's, distra it's removing from the fear of God. Uh, and teaching things that, that's why I said that thing about somebody has waited and watched for 30 years and nothing has happened. Uh, and so that makes, because if you teach somebody something that doesn't work, they're going to eventually decide this thing doesn't work. And it will reflect in the life of that person or the people. And that is what we're seeing. Because I don't know why this thing is bouncing my one time, but I think that that is what we're seeing in our society. So people are engaged in this thing. And, and after doing it for a while, when you have doubt in what you are doing, you know what that does? You can continue to pretend that it makes sense to you because you, you, are, you are not bold enough to say to people, I don't think this thing makes sense. Because you don't want to be seen that way. Because once you open your mouth, you are given a title of being antichrist or against church. Right? Victor, can you... Can you yeah. So that's the issue. That that's what I think is the issue here. So, but we cannot remove, we cannot remove religion. The the religion we cannot remove it because it's become so entrenched, right? So I think it's a waste of time talking about removing it. For me now, maybe somebody else. You know, that's that's how it, it seems to me. However, let us point. Let us allow people to hear the conversation that even if we don't remove it, know the truth in your heart and know what you're doing and know the way that you're making your no. choices. And, you, don't want to, you, don't want to, you, you don't want us to be politically correct on this atmosphere. I'm not trying to be politically correct. I'm just speaking what I think because people will not... People, even if you tell them to be genuine, they won't. They won't. People are always going to be afraid of what the next man is thinking, and that's also part of the religion. 
I was not referring to you. I was referring to what I'm about to say. Yeah. Say it. As long okay. as, yeah. All right. The truth, the truth is that to any society, in fact, on, for mankind, is the religion that, that says they have created, that have structured the society. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about the architecture. Look at the seven wonders of the world. How many of those structures are not related or are not in tune with one religion or the other? One temple, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's number one. Every architecture that you see, that you marvel at, it has to do with, with the signature of religion. Let's leave that one. Let's go into science and technology. At least I remember in school we can talk about so many of the, in biology, in physics and in chemistry, so many of the, the those uh, theories. I propounded one theory or the other. Some of them are fathers. I mean, in Catholic. Some of them are reverend, you know. And then well, let's leave that. In music, we talked about music. You understand? You know, we the you think you know about countries of this world. How many of them? How many of them do we want to talk about? Uh, okay, that's 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 well, all well and good. So I am trying to tell you that uh, the religion is the, is the you know there's one thing that they call the superior nature of man. The nature of simply means man wants to, man is a social animal. He wants to be among his people. And that's what religion did. He brought about people. He attracts people. And, and he was able to mold and shape on the behavior of pattern. Their perspective, their orientation, their, their way of life. Okay, uh, how about uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, let, me let, me th let me throw this in. So now you're talking about shaping their way of life. Since it is that effective and that strong, therefore you can see how it is able to even distract a person from the path on which the person should actually be to live a fulfilling life. Because when it comes with all that it offers and it and it's it's that attractive while you are stuck there it's almost like somebody has held an image to you and you are you are looking at it because you are looking at it you, you now cannot see where you're supposed to be heading so it's taking your attention from where you're supposed to be and while you are stuck practicing the things that that thing is teaching you you become a creature of habits because that's what human beings are so when you've done that over and over and over for many years, this is the way that your brain now works. Your brain is rewired to do things in this way that just does not lead you to fulfillment. If it doesn't lead you to fulfillment or any kind of peace in your mind, it must be very far from God. It, it, it's very far from God. So um, we can accept that it is here and it has come to stay, but we must understand that it is a distraction, right? I don't have to go out there and be telling everybody, forget it by religion, forget it by religion. But I've had this conversation and the the injunction or the, um, the what I would drop is, can you focus on what Jesus came to do for you to say that you're a Christian? He said, I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. And then ask yourself if the way you are living your life, what you do, do you do you feel that abundance when you are taking decisions? When people come and explain something to you based on what the religion teaches, it's supposed to be a relationship a relationship between you and the next person, something that allows you to stay in a place of oh dear, getting cut off. I'm cut off over here. I don't know if it's, if you're seeing it. 
I am right. So the case of the matter is I believe when you want to talk on a particular matter, we should be able to work in line or in consonant with facts and figures. Okay. If you are saying religion has come to stay, then you are not in tune with the avalanche of people living the religion as attractive. You need to get your craft and figure to right. Hmm. If you are not current, then you are not correct. Mm -hmm. People are living religion for good. Hmm. And the question you have to ask yourself is this. Why would people want to live whatever that is helping them, that is giving them solace, that is giving them hope, that is providing solutions Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. Now, the question I want us to ask ourselves is why are people living Say that again? I said the, the question I would love to ask why are our people not even our people, let's not personalize it. Why are people living religion? Why are they living in their mass? If truly religion is something that is giving them hope, that is giving them solace, that is giving them comfort, that is providing solution to their problem. No, it the Bible says, hope, hope, hope make it not a shame. Mm -hmm. If you have hope, your, your half of your problem is solved. But the people are living religion. Something is not adding up. Yeah. So I will. I agree with you. And then I would. I would be happy if what I said before is uh, wrong. I, I would like. I would like to um, take this and want it. I want this to be the reality. I want. I, I would like for people to wake up and re and be realizing that. This thing is, is a road to nowhere, right? So that is what I, I'm happy that you you are saying that. If you've observed that, that is good, and I hope that it continues in that direction because that's where we need to go. Um, but I think that it was done for a reason, and there's going to be an attempt to disorganize the movement that you have observed. There's going to be an attempt to disorganize it. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Yes. And so, I don't know what's happening with Victor. Victor, can you come in? Do you want to say something now? Hello? I'm trying to... It's okay, even if you're not, even if you're not in on video, if you can... At some point, I lost your voice. I wasn't picking up in I didn't just want to start so. oh, okay yes so what do you have to offer okay what I would like to ask to say you know as much as I listen to um, a very good um, you know um, an exposed discussion that you both had I I want us to look at an angle Yes. God expects that. Oh, let me say this way. The way God deals with man in terms of realization of our desires, if we really want our, uh, if we really want our expectation in this nation to come to pass. There are two ways to it. 
Now, God is interested in that we live in peace, we live in harmony, and we live in the strength of our desires. In 2 John chapter 2, he said, I wish above all things that you may as prosperous and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. So God is, in, God is interested in, for instance, he said in this nation, it's interested in the peace of the nation. It's interested that if the nation prosper. And it's also interested in that we also, that the lives here, will live in peace. But there are two things that a lot of us are missing, especially in this part of the world, when it comes to the, 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 the uh, concept of religion. For us to be able to receive our uh, expectation in this nation, there are, we, there, are, there are two parts of it. The we, I call it the we part of the body and God's part of the body. Now, the we part of the body is that, I said it last week, one of, one of the things I said last week is that God has given us grace so that He can give Him rest. He expects us to use our brain to make things happen. And then when we have done our responsibility, when we have done our own we part of the body, then we expect God to do His own part of the body. Hasn't he already done it? Isn't that the other way around? No. If you already gave me the brain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you already have the brain for us to activate. So this is to put into practice what we're supposed to do. Now, he said, he said, he said, um, in Psalms of the Lord as well, for instance, there is a man that working on the council of the Lord, he was saying the way of the no, work it in the, in the, in the part of his comfort, but it's the light that being the law of the Lord, and in this law shall live the city and night, and in the, I think the verse 4 it says, and he shall be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Now, in the community part it says that whatever he does, or whatever he lays his hands on, shall prosper. Okay. If you read from Genesis to Revelation, all the promises of God to mankind, all the promises, there's no promise of God to mankind that does not have a role that man must play. I repeat it again. There's no promises of God that comes in terms of blessing to man that does not have our responsibility. And until our responsibility is done, it does not commit God to do his own part. And that's why we are missing it so much. Right. So, a lot of us in this nation, we hide under the fact that God is our God. There's nothing too difficult for him to do. There's nothing to... In fact, I just read the book of I think you chapter 1 verse 6. To man, it may be impossible. But with God, all things, including all things, including eating, including political leader, including everything, everything, God, everything is possible. So then we hide under that. Now that's the under the impact of religion that we are handling on. And we expect that our nation, our society is going to get better by only praying to God who can do all things and expect him to do all things. Exactly. I have a I have a God is waiting because as you know, all this all the resources. And given all the resources to make things happen, to change scenarios, to change circumstances, even if the electionary is giving us all that he has, he's supposed to give us, or he expected to give us, and then we are not doing our part. I next to you, I start to be corrected here, it was in the recent time, maybe in the last two electionary process, that we see Christians, quote and unquote Christians, Bible believing, active in church, devout chaser, Bible carrier, who are actually getting involved with the electioneering process in this country. In time past, a lot of us have pulled our hands, only pray and trust in God. Only pray and trust in God. If only you can believe in God, all things will be done. Until it's the same body of Christ, because I suppose the leaders of the body of Christ can. Took it upon themselves to begin to, how do I say that, synthesize, mobilize, give instruction, push the people 
the Christians. So actually get into practical involvement in the electionary process in this country. It started in the last two electionary process. Just the last two. So you see, I know. If you and I, I know. if you and I, I'm sorry, I'm coming, I'm, 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 I'm drawing the clues now. If you and I have taken the role of our responsibilities, we are put into practice our responsibilities if we have been doing all this. I'll give you an example. That's why I'm sorry to say, you know, but I have to say, if you take the census, the names of the best uh, political leaders across the nation, if you put them on religious balance, you will see that it's about maybe 95% more Mohammedanism and 5% Jesus is in, if there's any word like that. I'm telling you, that's what I'm trying to say. Because we're going to be able to play our part. Oh. We're not doing anything, Christians, we're not doing anything. We're just praying. Believing God that if we pray, God will make this come to pass. But it does not work that way. That is being religious. <laughs> just being religious. <laughs> it's not what you're That's just being religious. If I tell you this thing that you say I'm telling us today, you see? Um, look at our religious leader, for instance. In the days of the scriptures, the prophet will give the world and the king will shake. By this time tomorrow, a shaken of, uh, sorry, a mountain of name will be sold as usual amount. And the bag of flowers will be sold as usual amount. Even if it is not like that. Believe that it's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that has called me. These are the words of the prophet in those days. And then if somebody will come again and say he's the uh, special advisor to the president of, uh, on economic matters, and said, how can I listen be? And the prophet, and the man of God will say, if you happen and your mouth will not taste out of it. And it came to pass. The question is, what are our religious father doing about the political shape? the political landscape, the political structure of the nation. I, I won't, I, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't mention names. There was this picture of a uh, prayer session that went, you know, you know, that was um, circulated on the social media that page, you know, in the last uh, two, three months. I'm sure it was a finish. When the respected man of God who was supposed to make this happen as far as I'm concerned was praying to God and was, he was living prayer and was saying, God, he has this because this, this suffering is just too much, do something about it, this suffering is not too much, do something about it, this suffering is not too much, do something about it. Hmm. And I looked at him and I said, what are you talking about? God has placed you in a position where a world, the Bible says, I, I told David that one of his world will fall down to the ground. There are men today that if they speak, God has put them, put them in the position where by their words will not so fall down to the ground. The, yeah. the system will change, will shake. <laughs> but they are not saying anything. Yeah, so it, it leads me to... It it leads me to they are not saying anything, I don't mind, it, I don't know. It, no, it leads me to suspect that they either don't know what they are doing, or they are just enjoying what they have, so they are not taking any... <laughs> Or, or, or they don't understand the um, sensitivity and the gravity of the position that God has put them at such a time as this. How can, I, no, how can you not understand it? Hmm. It's possible. It's possible. Hmm. In the book of Luke, the Bible says that uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Jesus passed through Jerusalem for the last time, and the people did not know that the Messiah was passing through the sign of God. To make this happen in Jerusalem, but the Messiah was passing, and Jesus himself was weeping because he had a mind to make things happen. But yet, the people did not recognize the fact that it was their time. We are still saying the same now, thing. The so if they, if they don't know, it. when your king, when your leader is a, is a boy, when your king is a boy, when your king is a boy, I'm not saying they are boy. I'm not. I'm not that level to say that. I'm only saying that. There's tendency for you to be in a position and just don't know the essence and the value yeah. of the position. Then you shouldn't be there. Then you shouldn't be there because you're misleading people. That's how I would end to that. 
That's how I would end that. Yeah, I said it not too. Yes, I said it. Yeah, it, it's, it's 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 just a fact. You know that's why I say see hiding away from the facts won't change won't change the facts. And um, now it's not a time to be massaging people and massaging their egos because we celebrated. Oh, no, we we had sixty fourth year um, last week. It wasn't a celebration. So it's uh, we're way past massaging people's egos and. Um, if we all really want to move from where we are, let's just speak the truth. People who are not qualified to be in the position of leadership and controlling masses of people where they can use a voice and just say something and everybody will take action. If they are not qualified, then they're not qualified. That's just what it is. And if we don't speak the truth, we will never begin to see through the blindfolds. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. the crusades will take the time to talk to these people and tell them the effects of their own voices that is what I'm they will that take action we have failed that's what I'm saying that the yeah. leaders have failed in letting the people understand let's tell the people let's change our tone actually let's change our tone instead of saying the leaders have failed hmm? um maybe instead of uh, instead of adding that this conversation, if um, anybody who hears it and really has a, a heart to do something, knows what to do. It is us now, the followers or the led, who should now decide. Let's not even talk to the leaders. Let's talk to ourselves. This person, you cannot lead me because you, you are leading me to, to, to a pit. You are leading me to yeah, darkness. Yeah, but, 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 of course, you are I, Hello. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Um, uh, yes, please, please speak. Yeah. I, I have listened to everything. And I think you blame the people more than the individuals. Yes, we've gotten to that. Please allow me so that we will hear ourselves out. It's as if we are not in tune with reality. I told you before 1990, people in this same country, people can think, people can engage in intellectual discourse, they are critical thinkers. Now, Pentecostalism, the other Pentecostalism, change that, work that away. I agree with you, you now. want to blame, mm. no, and you still want to blame the people. It's both ways to me. To, well, hold on. Allow me now so that I will not lose my trajectory. You lost, you turn the people to dummy. And you are not blaming the people. How do I mean? Victor was saying, he said, he said people are lazy. Words are powerful. You will appreciate that turn the people to be lazy. It was the preaching of every day, every time. There are some churches that go, uh, there are some churches that go to church or that do study every day. And let me shock you, if they don't go to church every day, it's going to come to you through the media, through the radio, through the TV, through the social media. They bombard you with all that. That's that distraction. Without, uh, yes, you, you, without allowing you to speak. No. And you are telling me that the people are lazy. What is our that is you doing differently that is making them to have for G and for Jet? The man that is not working, you go and meet him for business idea. He does not know anything about business, he's looking for your time. 
By the time he collects time from hundreds of thousands of people, no matter what, he will be smarter than you guys now. Are they sure? You now say that I want to... No. Shaya, you are not you are not wrong. You're not wrong. But the thing is, um, after now saying that, then we now come I'm back. Connecting, I'm, I'm driving on my point. I'm connecting it. When Victor was talking, I allowed it. I never said a word because I actually wanted to I don't want to miss out of everything of anything he was saying. Now what I'm saying is this. These people it's just like talking people's DNA. And you are not still blaming them. Instead of blaming them, we should do sensitization, reorientation. It is the same word that they have used to fight them. We are going to use the same word to emancipate them. Do you know that I was in a bus, guy? I was in a bus from, um, I don't know what time, it's around that bateau, guy, in sight. I was in the bus, and this old man was there, and the boy called me. Like, we are buying an iPhone B. And the man said, I'm not going to buy any iPhone B because that dish, he was referring to uh, Oyejiko, that that day I said we should not borrow money to buy iPhone B. And I said to myself, Do you reach that video, that Oyejiko? to tell you not to borrow money to buy SOAP. And at that, at that time, the man that I saw is likely to be older than than Bishop or Yedepo. <laughs> it's likely, with the way you understand. Mm. So you are waiting for Yedepo to tell you. So that is why some of them will see with that. Uh, that is said, we should not trust our wife on Sunday. <laughs> and they will observe it religiously. So when you are saying people are lazy, no doubt, but cut them some slack. They can't say they are lazy and leave and leave the perpetrators and leave them alone. I can somebody tell me somebody was in the toilet and he found himself in another country. Yeah. Um. Can I, look at what they have turned up to. can I come in now? Can I come no in? What, no matter what they say, yes, no matter what they say, we have people that will rationalize their action. Yeah. Well articulate, well read, well educated people. Several minds. Several minds, I'm sorry. They will support it. They will rationalize, they find their way around it. So that is why, that is why, that is why you will start by saying this is what they have taught you. They have taught you wrong or they have taught us wrong. Then we will now say, you too, now, do you see that this thing that you were taught is not good? Now stop accepting it and start to reorient yourself. So there's no way we can do it without blaming even the, the victim sometimes because the victim of a person of even the person who is um in why do i keep forgetting this thing even the person who is sometimes the abused you know we, I, we don't want to do victim blaming but sometimes even the abused you need to tell the abuse several times you are allowing this thing you are allowing it you are allowing it it started by the abuser being more powerful but all of a sudden now even after talking about the abuser you still have to turn on to the abused and tell the abused you are the one who is empowering this person. Because if you don't do that, the abuse still doesn't know they are still there. So it's like waking the person up and flogging the person. Stop allowing this to happen to you, kind of thing. Hmm? Um, are we done? And, and if you don't do it, somebody else will rise up and do it. You know that, you know I'm a fan of VDMs. I don't know if you know. I'm a fan of VDM because VDM is mobilizing people in a way that um, people in, in offices, political offices and um, religious offices haven't done. VDM is, if we have 10 of VDM, one VDM is doing much more than than any of the religious leaders that... You know, you know, I think we've talked about this VDM. 
Yeah, no, we haven't talked about him here. Huh? No, no, no. Uh, no, not here. Okay. Not here. I mean behind the curtain. Okay. And I told you I'm not I am I'm not his fan. Okay. Yeah, yes. Not that he not that he's not saying the truth. I'm not that he's um no. Should I should I prove it to you now? Look at uh, no, 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 I, no. And no, I, okay. Okay, well, yeah. So it won't be as if I'm trying to shush you. Yeah, go ahead. Fala could not reach a lot of people. Not because of his messages. Because of, not because of his content. Because of his moral life. Okay. I've also thought about that. Yeah. Okay, that's just my family. It's, it's, it's not even the morals. It's not even the morals that I'm even thinking of. I think, we, yeah, I will tell you that on the, on the, not here. Yes, I've also thought about that. Right. Okay. Um, Victor, did you want to add something? Or, or I should share you? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I'm not sure that there is anything else that I want to add right now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, um, I think I have spoken very well. Actually, I hope you get this You know, um, we just need to get to a point where I think those of us, let me use that word, those of us who are leaders of the body of Christ, we need to come to reality. And I'm happy. Very, very, and extremely happy about what is going on now. Hmm. Social media has told us, and now that there's no hiding place for anything, hmm. except you are just going to be at the back side. Hmm. Whatever is happening in every gathering is being brought to form. Let me use the word, it's being brought to the gate house for discussion. Hmm. And that was one of the reasons why you see that. Uh, how do I use it now? I need to call, I, I need to call this now. The apology? That's um, exactly. The what looked like an apology? Nothing, that, that mm. nothing is eating again. Yeah. Whatever you think that is eating again will be brought to fall. Even as a matter of fact, the body of Christ is going to be shaking any moment from now. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's funny. Going to, but the body even, of Christ is going to be bent, it's going to be scrutinized. We, we were even we warned. We were told. We were told that the judgment will start from the from the from the church. Isn't that what we were told? That's what the scripture says. But the, 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 that that could be that could be the, that could be the judgment of God. I can say that. I'm talking about the judgment that is organized by the people for the people. Okay. It's starting exactly now. It has started. Yes. So those rules. Those rules. Those roles that we were supposed to have played, I give an example. Now, those who are shedding more light on those concepts that think or that uh, the body of Christ has been bamboozled with over the time, yeah. all of them and all of us have been part of this before. I don't want to go for the fact that I, and I don't want to distract us from where we're from the, the past. Hmm, that sounds interesting. So, so, Look at, the issue of, look at the issue of tight. Those who are shedding light now and pointing attention to areas that are wrong about tight have been part of the wagon before now. Oh. All of a sudden, a, there was a change of pattern. There was a reversal. Let's look at this thing critically. It's high time we stop to cover the truth and we start embracing it. And that's why I believe that in two to three four five years to come, the nation is going to be on the right trajectory. I can say that we all confident because hmm. why? All the areas or the things where we're supposed to have done differently that we're not doing differently are being exposed right away. Yes. Now, it's going to get to the point whereby our leaders are going to be personally called to to do exactly what they are supposed to do. You are so optimistic. I people that have been zombified. I can tell you, people that have been zombified. I can tell you, 
people that have been zombies people that have been zombies for for like 80 100 years that's really optimistic of you do you know how do you know did you you heard um share talk about changing dna it's like people have been rewired it's not is it going to be that easy five years even ten years well For instance, and it's also one of the things that is not important. One of the things that this is also doing is that it's making everybody to go back. Yes. And sporting for himself. Yes, that's what the that's the beauty of it. To me. Exactly, that's the beauty of what this. What does that mean? Yeah. Last was it that, that two weeks ago? Somebody sent me a text. Somebody sent me a text. Mm. Say, please explain this. Explain this like about two, three foot. Mm. Both in old and in testament, and he said, I should explain them. Mm. That they both credit, but I know where the person is driving to. Mm. So, all I need to do is to call the person and explain. I don't even need to go and read. Well, I read it, but I don't need to do an execution on it. Mm. I know what the person, the person is asking. All I need to do is to pick the call, the phone, and explain exactly to the person. So, if young people, uh, the leaders, can exactly uh, make up their mind to be used of God to celebrate the truth. Let me use your word. <laughs> to celebrate and expose the truth in its original form. I think in the next two, three, four years, the nation is not going to be where it used to be. I Things are going to have to except, except that, to be quite honest, I'm not sure that any young people are even looking up to leaders because even now anything they want to say many people are not even going to be willing to listen many young people because it's like you've deceived me for this long so whatever you have to say now no that's the fact and also let me help you use the right word yeah not that they will not listen they will listen but they may not just digest what you are saying they may just go back and check no look i am not one of those young people but i will be very suspicious of somebody who has already fooled me before Coming now to come and tell me I've repented. Come, let me tell no, you this. No, no, no. See, and that's why. That's why. Yeah. That's why I've always used this condition. You know, saying uh, which it. <laughs> no, you, you can't say directly. You can't say directly that somebody who has fooled you. Now, those who are making a change of party, some of them are saying that look, they're apologizing. No, I'm no, no. Psychology doesn't work I'm like that. <laughs> That is said that's being sentimental. I'm not going to give you another chance to do that to me. I I will not. And I am not one of the young people, and the young people are much tougher than I am. I'm not giving you another chance to do that to me. I'm not. But 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 that but that that also will not uh, With what? that also will not um, you know speak well of you. I don't want no no I don't want to be spoken well of I want to live I want to live abundantly I'm not interested in what you think of me and so those people don't care they're even worse than me that's my point anyway okay yeah because if I really care about what the next person is thinking I don't think I will be here having this conversation on screen you understand and the reason it doesn't matter is because they cannot take anybody to hell or to heaven only God matters yeah hello yeah. You see, there's one thing about uh, writing ethics. At least I, I'm so sure that every one of us passed through the four walls of a tertiary institution. Hmm. One of the conditions is for you to write a project. This is the first thing. Uh -huh. So, and you cannot be a primary, uh, original, no matter the project topic, you cannot be the originator. Somebody somewhere must have written something about that. Now, what, what am I driving at? It is the work of others that your clients come. You have your sources, you know that. But you have theories, you have laws, and you have literature that you are going to quote. 
on the way to to analyze the data which we have um, accumulated, maybe through your questionnaire, you know, regardless of any um, research methodology that you use. But then, what I'm trying to say is that you must quote people. And you don't quote ordinary people. You quote experts in that line of duty. What am I trying to say? Is that if we want, if there's a, if we want a change, and there's a paradigm shift from where we used to be to another place, by people coming out to admit their errors. Number one is going to be a learning curve. <laughs> Number two is going to be a transformational um, path to people and to all as a people. Now, it's a good thing that some, some of them are bold enough to come out. At a mental control I can mention Benny, I can mention Ebre Damini, I can mention Sam Adeyemi. Those ones, they came out and like, no, we have defrauded you. We were wrong. I mean, and whatever, you know. So, what I'm trying to say is that not only does this send signal to us as the people that they are governed, it sends signal to the people, to the unrepentant ones too. And it helps our movement. You understand? So yes, do you know that so many people called, so many preachers called those people that are like, can you withstand the heat you are going to pay for other men of God? So if those ones can front, can be the, what, what do you call them in church? Um, um, uh, okay, whatever you do, if you check, we have them, they are always at the front. Yeah. You understand, we'll put them in your, uh, is it rookies now? Yes. We call them rookies. You understand? It's porn. We call them porn or rookies. So, those are the, if they have decided to be the porn by facing the bullet, mm -hmm. then we should face them. That is a genuinely mm -hmm. repentance. That's what I was going to say. Because um, some, okay. because I can look at the way things, I can look at the trajectory of things and I can decide, it looks like things are looking this way. So I am now going to face this way so that I look like I have made a, a U-turn. Secondly, we are a sentimental people, uh, our people, Nigerians. And a lot of us do not really. I think that the younger ones are more in tune with psychology than a lot of the older ones. And so they understand, and I understand that a person who has been this way is who they are. They are who they are. So that even when the person tells me, I am sorry, I don't hold out any hope that they are going to be different. The most that I can do is to allow time to pass and see that the person is actually different. But the last thing I will do is to turn my back to you. Because if you scratch me before, you are about to dagger me now. So, um, I don't think that it is safe. Just going by... Yes, it's, it's from here. It's from this... So these young people that we're talking about, you know, who are more in tune and who know how, nobody plays with um, anybody who actually understands how psychology works. You've got to know that a wolf might just take off the, um, take on the ship's, the ship's um, um, appearance, but there's still a wolf under. So it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Because even when you hear, like somebody who came out and made an apology the other day, it looked like an apology, but when you examined it, you saw that it wasn't an apology. You know, so it wasn't an apology, it wasn't an apology at all. So he either does not really know that he's done something wrong because of years of being used to doing that, or he is a bad person 
who thinks that he can pull the wool over our eyes simply because he's older. I don't know which one it is, but whatever it is, I'm not taking any chances with that kind of thing. And I know that the people who are coming, younger people who are coming behind, they're not going to be, they're not giving you that kind of benefit of the doubt. You know? So let's just be looking forward. That's all we, we don't, I don't even want to hear you. I don't want to hear you. You had your chance. You've blown it. Let's look forward. So, Victor, Victor, are you there? Yeah, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. And that's it. That's, that's that. People, brain wiring is not something that you just, you don't flick on lights and flick off. You don't, you talk to somebody, a person is who, is who they are. It takes a lot for a person to change. It takes a lot. You know, it's not something that you do by choice. Your brain has to now rewire itself. So it's not a, a walk in the park, uh, something that you take chances with like that. Anyway, is there anything else? Yeah, good to go. Yeah. Okay. So we can we can end now. Victor, did you want to say anything else? We're closing. Ready to go? Yes, I want to say. Yes, I let us let us say. Yes, please. just as well even though it's just that we're not physically there we feel it just as well so wh why, why are we talking why are lots of people in the diaspora talking if they're not feeling it we'll just go about our business yeah. and yeah i understand that's what i'm saying i'm not saying i'm not saying you're not feeling it i said the heat is not water for those who are down now this nation will have uh, of course i mean uh, i will not be I will not exaggerate it to say, Shayan will agree with me that I will not be exaggerated to say that the nation is still in gunpowder as we speak. Yeah. Uh, there could have been a whole lot of things that would have uh, happened in this nation as we speak today. The nation could have, uh, there could have been a whole lot of outposts from right, left, center, and uh, everywhere. Oh. You know, but, but yes, yes, yes. But for. But for our let me put an unquote religious activities, you know that we do in the that somebody told somebody you know you you can hear the Nigerians are tough, but they are tough. That is the opium of the masses that you're talking about. That just put it like that. Just say you are taking the opium. We can make. We can make. Uh, how do I say that? We can make. Memorials. We can make. We can make memorials things out of a very serious matter. Make the best out of a, a just, difficult just, situation. Just, 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 just to be to, just to be able to calculate the weakness in the in the economy. I understand. You understand? I understand what you're saying. And this, and many more, are traceable to the fact that when you go for religious activities, our leaders still take care. Of, they have a lot of, of the challenges that are going through, and the current standard of the. Um, the key in finding in us hope that things are going to become better. <laughs> that makes me that makes me laugh. How can I believe it when you are you are you are imbibing hope in me that things will be better by telling and then telling me that when people are when people are suffering you you are buying three private jets. That's that's <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. You don't need to win out. Actually this is a matter that you don't need to win out for the media, but you can just let me know that. Uh, there will be lights at the end of the tunnel. You really don't need to. Honestly, you really don't need to. As a child of God, if you read your Bible and then uh, you listen to the person of the Holy Spirit, no matter how. Uh, you started again. You've gone back to that. Uh, yes. You've gone back to that. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. You can't accept that. You can't accept that. <laughs> 
No, I don't. I don't think that that's well. That's another thing. The way that we are, we are taught prayer, I think that the thing has already been done. Now go and claim it. Paul, I've given you. I know. I know. I know. Victor. Victor. Are you not going to add to the expectation that your prayers are answered? Yeah, but that's not what you said just now. Wait, Shaya is saying something. Yes. You are supposed to give us your car. You are supposed to wrap it up. What are you opening again? <laughs> Open another kind of one. All right. Just wrap it up and let's let call it a day. <laughs> ah. Uh, Victor? Hello? Hello, Victor? Your voice is not loud enough. Can you put your ma your... Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? Can you hear him? Victor, speak louder. I said, when you pray for instance, when you pray for instance, and you, in, 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 after your prayer, you expect that God to answer it. I won't say anything because that's taking us all the way back to where we started from. I won't say anything. At this point, I won't say anything anymore. It may sin the people. It may the people to be sin. And that, but that's what we've been doing now. But that's what they've been doing all these. Okay, I won't. I say I won't say anything. That right. is the way. That's how. That, in fact, it's not as if the others what they've been doing. That's the way we are supposed to be doing, no matter what, no matter the circumstances. Why do we now have this? We keep believing in God. We keep acting in faith. We keep doing our own responsibility without leaving any stone or turn. And then, of course, everything works together. Okay, but don't end it by saying. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. We're not saying that we should not do your responsibility. You do your responsibility. All right. Okay. You okay. make sure that all your responsibility has been done, which is exactly what we're doing now. But okay. of course, you pray and you believe God will crown all your efforts with success. Okay. And that in turn brings sanity to the nation. That's exactly what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm... If you understand what I'm saying. I understand you, but I'm speaking for the people whose DNA has been altered because that's the only thing they're going to take away from this message because that's what they're used to hearing. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's a dangerous thing to say to them again because that's what they're used to doing. Don't worry. As long as the DNA is altered, the DNA can also be altered again, you know, in order to uh, bring positive change and make good things Okay. Happen. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll end. And I thought we had come to the end of the conversation, but we continued on. Just hold on. Now. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your time. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us on this episode. Bye. I hope that this episode give bring some sort of transformation to your thinking um and remember to share this video so that other people can follow along with our thought process and what we're looking at and the changes that we need to adopt as we navigate the coming days following from our experiences we're supposed to learn and we're supposed to evolve to do better we continued on just hold on hello hi hello can you yes what you I said? Have to say now. You have something to say? What? I can take it too. I can take yes, it. And then, no, I won't take nothing. No, wait, now you can take it. Okay. What? But then, it, well, it turned out fine anyway. At the end of it, it turned out fine. I don't want to see. I'm tired of all this cock and book story by the torch. I am tired. Aren't you tired too? I'm tired. Are you yes, I'm with you. Are you kidding me? Can I see you? You should, uh, you should, you have the, no, let's be candid. Mm. Do you know what is going on? What is going on? You guys are... Yeah, what is actually going on is this. And that's the angle you guys are making it from. Tell me. They've been trying to destroy Turkey. They've been trying to destroy Christianity for yeah. years. Uh -huh. They promoted all the religions, all the religions and everything. They promoted the ones that they wanted. And they downplayed the ones that they wanted to do. And then... Over the time, they've used Christianity to manipulate the people. Now that people are conscious in Christianity, and most times... Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say that?
you look let, let look listen let me tell you something let me tell you something we are still on on another we are still on we are still on on another device just so you know right so that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah because i'm still what i'm saying is that i'm still capturing what you're saying even though it's not on that so i can still, i am still capturing what you're saying so i can still take that so, so okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay now my point is They've been, they've used Christianity to manipulate lots of people, the people, let's not say lots of people. They've used Christianity to manipulate the people. Now they want to discard Christianity. It was difficult for them because they realized that people use Christianity to connect to the main deity. They connect to the divinity. And they use it, especially through power, prayer, prayer is power. And they look at it and they discover that it was impossible for them to do that. Do you know what they did? Are you listening? I'm listening. Keep, yes, keep speaking. Yeah? Okay. All right. What, what they did was to raise business men, wolves in sheep clothing to be the Jews of conglomerate of Christian churches and everything. Okay, let's make them, let's plant them there. Those are the people, there's no way you can destroy a sheep from outside. It is the water from the ship that will now use to sink that same ship. So they now put those that the geos in strategic places. And for your information, Nigeria is one of the most prayerful places on planet Earth. And they needed to build Nigeria. It's very important for them. It's very key. So they planted all these the geos there to play such a wonderful role at first. Try them let them trust you. But now, after trusting you now try showing your true color. And that's what they are doing. By showing your true color, it discourages a lot of people. Emma, it make, by taking them away. To make you not to think about God. To make you, that's exactly, to make you think that God is not effective. And that, in fact, maybe he doesn't exist. Exactly. Now you are getting the truth. Now people are living that uh, idea. But that's what, that's what we've been saying all along. That's what we've been saying all along. That's why I said that they are, they are, they are the anti-Christ themselves. That's what I'm saying. But we are not opportunity to say this on the on the on the platform that we were because of the trajectory of the conversation all i'm saying is this what people are missing out is the people's mind are being taken away from christianity and from god now do you know what they are doing what are they doing Hello there. yes I'm what they are doing what they are doing is, what they are doing is by the time the people's mind and heart are being taken from christianity it will create a podium for them, an avenue for them to introduce something that people will embrace. You know why? That, different from Christianity. I thought about that thing, but that you know, is, you know, you know why that won't even make sense. Is, we should have that conversation. You know why that that won't make sense? Because what is it that you want to introduce? Because all of us from different places. First of all, they've now tried to say. And the truth is that they are going to use the truth as well to deceive you, to try to deceive us. The truth is that everybody, the different religions, we are all talking about what? God. Yes? So somebody is going to come and say, in that case, that is how, okay, since all of us, yeah, all roads lead to God, that's the bottom oh, line. Yeah, sorry, are you saying, are you saying it's not going to be possible? We are the edge of it. Yes, let me, let me. Of it, and you are kind of I hear you. Okay. I hear you. I thought by now you should understand how these people operate. But for now, it's as if you are not even getting the drift. It's possible. You don't even understand the pattern. Yeah, it's how possible. How did they introduce more money? How did they introduce money to the world? Money. You don't understand. Uh -huh. It that controls the economy, controls the world. That's it the that controls the food, controls the world. That's the conversation that money we should be having. It's unifying the money. It's unifying one government. You don't understand. Okay, now let me put it to you. How is it possible for Russia to turn its people to a country? How is it possible for China to make sure its citizens are worshipping its own, um, their own deity? Is it that what I'm saying? How is it possible in Saudi Arabia, the majority of the people there, in the Russia now, they are under percent Muslim. Those ones are, you don't understand what we call, they call it sampling when you are doing research. Let's sample this Indonesia. Okay, the one religious country. Okay, let's look at the Arab world. Okay, they have almost, almost a religious pattern. You get what I'm saying? Okay, 
Now, before now, do you know that there's nothing like monotheistic God? Monotheistic is the belief system in one God. Before now, it wasn't like that. When you say before now, you know when you say before now, you mean many, many years ago? Yeah, in the old Egypt, in the old world, they tried to yeah. monopolize it. Yeah. One people will come and try it so many people. And then over the time, the ideology that if there's only one God, came to stay. And they tried to suppress every other God. They've tried it before. Yeah, that's so that they are going to, they're trying it again. What, no, what's the orientation that we have now? No, we still believe there's only one God now. Don't you believe there's only one God? You are not going to confuse me. I'm asking <laughs> No, you don't understand. Yeah, I'm not confusing. I'm saying, before now, the people were living, believing that we have multi-faced gods. And they believe it. Hmm. But over the time, they came with that only monotheistic God that we have. Don't forget we have enotetic. Enotetic simply means there's one deity, but you are uh, but you are allowed to follow the God that you want to follow. Monotetic does not give it that wrong. It's all about my God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When you are not when you are not looking at me, you are looking at something that I want to look at what the thing is. I want to look at what it looks like um the life to be sure that everything what, what to be sure that everything transmitted what? properly. Do you understand? I will still on trans I will still on transmission. No, I want to be sure that what I want to be sure that everything went well, that it looks good and also oh, to, oh, and also oh, to oh. collect it before they I do any even though I have it on I, I have it on YouTube already, but I want to yeah. be sure that um, I collect it before they won't do anything. They won't, they won't do anything. <laughs> I've told you we didn't cut the line. You do you are here to get all this thing. If I said this thing I'm telling now. I will not say this thing. <laughs> if you have said it before, like the last time. I'm tired of somebody telling me, uh, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says. I grew up knowing that. At my age now, I saw my parents that believing in that, my grandparents, whatever, whatever, whatever. Amen. Especially when I know that, they, especially when I know that they mixed in some lies. Especially, I when, that. especially when I know that they mixed in some things there to lead to confusion. Of course, man. Even the even the people, the way the, our daddy deals are living, does it not suggest something to you that they don't believe what they are telling us? Yeah. Apparently, they don't believe. They believe whatever they are telling them. Some of them don't yes, believe now. it. Some they of them. Some, it. some of them don't believe it. Some of them are confused. Some of them are just there. No, no they are no. not. They know better. They are not confused. They know better. Who told you they are confused? Because somebody can get into that place and be confused and think that what they are being taught, you know, someone will teach you the wrong thing. Only for you to come tomorrow and start crying, Oh my daddy, why have you forsaken me? Why did you do this to me? Mm -hmm. yes, That's the truth. It's good. That's what I'm saying. The way they are living their life, it shows that they know so many things that we don't know. <laughs> You know, know a lot. you know what I'm finding is so funny. I've heard, I've heard this thing so many times in the past few days. You know, um, okay. In the past few months, okay, let no, me say. The past few months, they're like okay, people, good. people, people, people are like it's like these people. They know something that they're not sharing because what is uh -huh. the meaning? <laughs> but but that that has been of course, yeah. Of course, they know they are lying to us. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, but, the but, but sometimes somebody can actually be be, be unintelligent it's not always a lie you. someone can be unintelligent and not realize that that that's what so those people that you're seeing you think, you think they are unintelligent that be? Because I don't to you that they are smarter than all of us yes 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 yeah uh, it's not for anything let's even start with this one Come with me. the reflection of the economy Economy and somebody can see say pay more than ten percent. Insensitivity of the idea for that. No, you know what? I, Are you on? on the face of it, you want to call it insensitivity. Let me tell you what I call it. What I call it is okay. what I call it is is gaslighting. 
it's gaslighting at the highest order because because if if i if i tell you when you are broke that you should give me more ordinarily your sense will tell you to tell me this doesn't make sense how can you be asking me for more but for you to now have the or for me to have the audacity to tell you this type of thing even at a time like this and i will explain it it is me ensuring that i actually have complete control of your brain it's another way of ensuring that look there's nothing you, you can't think you can't think for yourself because you don't understand the things of the spirit it is complete it, that's why people develop stockholm syndrome you see a man that will take his own daughter daughters and impregnate them and have children by them even the, even the girls are wondering ah, what is the meaning what kind of thing and the person will explain it's the same thing that the 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 the, the, the um, pastors who who sleep with their church members do the woman would will know that ah, this thing looks like it's wrong and they will explain it with all audacity it's just confirming the stronghold when you do it and the person and they still keep quiet and they clap for you you know you come out and say that kind of thing you say you're making an apology and then you ask for extra 40 50 percent and they clap for you and start saying how humble you are do you know what it is it is you've established it you have now stamped it you've stamped it you know at a, at a point i was wondering as some of these people is it age is it senility that's the problem what's going on but it's it's very clear now that this is uh, this is corn this is for happiness. No, they are, they, are, they are demons. I keep saying it. They are demons. People are demons. Uh, they are even worse than demons. I don't even know. They are the very devil himself. Of course not. It's, it's so terrible. <laughs> Some of them you, you can't tell. But the ones that is so obvious is when a human being will open his mouth and say something like, people are suffering and you are saying that you don't want it to end. Because you are buying private jets, it's better for one one for one thousand people to die. I don't give than for one giver. What kind of even a two year old will tell you, my friend, will you get out of this place? What kind of nonsense talk is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And full so, so, grown adults will be accepting it. So those people are. are, <laughs> are they, there's what 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 more do I have to say? A person who is just an evil psychopath looks at it and decides i will go into this part of the economy because i've seen the way that it works that is what is going on it's not that people are falling because people are saying that human beings oh they're they're making mistakes this is not a mistake this is somebody who de who knew what he was going in for who knew the business venture that he was entering into the business sector where are you then this one right now just in case okay you guys know that i had already ended it on the other forum so i'll end this here i don't know yet whether i'm going to cut this bit this last bit with him or whether i'm going to try to put this as a full video right thank you for being with me and with that I wrap up this one now thank you so much victor and share and enjoy thank the rest you. of your day God bless you. and you too thanks I hope that this conversation has been transformational and makes meaning to you so that you can see more clearly what is happening in case you've been blindfolded or you've fallen under these people's manipulations. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. And with that, bye-bye. Make sure to share this video so that other people can learn as well. All right. Remain blessed and be vigilant.